hi guys welcome back to my channel it's abby crystal here with a beautiful fresh looking face as usual and if i come coming across my channel for the very first time you're highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back as well so in this channel we're all about reaction videos lifestyle content real estate and all that good stuff okay so stay tuned stay tuned don't touch that down i'll be right so guys yeah so um today's video i'm going to be discussing about the bb9 just season seven level up okay yeah um, for those of us that, are, that for those of us that are following the show, you know that it ended. The show ended yesterday, and we had a female winner for the second time, guys. Like seriously, I was so happy. I was so elated when Fina was announced as the winner. But a lot of things have been happening on Twitter, on Instagram, all over social media about Fina not um, deserving, like not um, uh, 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 not a deserving winner. Okay, so I don't know. I just want to come up here and talk about it because a lot of people have been coming up with different different ideas on why they think that Fina um, um, don't doesn't deserve to win. Okay, so as you can see, um, you know, took home a whooping amount of hundred million naira. 50 million naira in cash, okay, of which 50 million naira is in cash, and the rest are sponsored um, products, sponsored trips, and all that good stuff, okay? So, yeah, today's video, I want to talk about this trending topic, like, people are talking about it. People are talking about Fina not being deserving, okay, not being deserving of the title. So, I don't know why, why a lot of persons do not, um, you know, a lot of Nigerians have this narrative that Fina doesn't deserve to win the title, like due to the fact that you know certain things happen in the house and she betrayed her friends, you know, when it comes to Groovy and and other for the another stated fact that she was just using the streets, you know, leaving the streets to cover up her dirty um character, okay? And I come to come here to say that I don't know why some people are so hypocritical when it comes to matters like that. The same persons that are criticizing Fina for doing what she did are the same persons that will still come out here and say that oh um uh, yeah, Fina should have won the title because she was the realest person in the house she showed us that real um personality okay unlike some other housemates that were faking it so she came out as being what do you guys think about it because for me i feel that she actually you know deserved to win although even not for the fact that she betrayed most of her, her other housemates like amaka beauty and you know the likes of others that she had altercations with i felt that she was one of the realest persons in that house for me like she showed her real character she showed who fina is like even in in and out of the house like she showed us the fact that only can be real and still make it like and still you know be loved okay yeah and so persons of the world narrative that brian the first runner of would have won because brian you know showed us um how it is to be matured even when he's you know he's one of the youngest in the house but he showed maturity in dealing with other housemates and all that he didn't um he didn't he didn't um step on the toes of other housemates according to what they did what they used you know what they said but to me i felt that you know it's a reality show for christ's sake it's a reality show so you are meant to show us how you behave you know what you be, how you behave in terms of in in provocative um you know instances like when you're being provoked how you react okay because a lot of times people come into the, into the house and fake their personality and you know with the term of not stepping into tools okay then how do you expect people to see who you really are like how do you expect people to really love you for who you really are when you're faking it when you're not coming out with who you really are so i don't know why people have this narrative that brian would have won of course brian was trying to play safe but um i know that he was also a talented musician that was one of the things that actually pushed him far but i felt that he kind of like you know played a safe game and did not really want to step on tools and i think maybe that's why he did not um you know clinch the, the the title or the prize but if you look at the voting voting which i'm going to place on the screen for you guys like the 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 the, the um the margin you know between fina and brian is kind of is much like it was much so I don't I I thought I think that Fina had a lot of fans. Okay, even the fact that okay Brian had fans too, but Fina had more people voting for her because they felt that she was the one that actually leveled up in this season. Like she actually leveled up. So now moving to other housemates, um of course <laughs> they've been trending, okay, they've been trending recently. Shex and Bella, okay. So I read a tweet today saying that Shex actually had security, security personnel at the finale yesterday because Bella um family members you know um were tr trying to stop her from you know coming in contact with shakes and shakes shakes due to the fact that a lot of people you know hated him out of the house hated him seriously like there was there were hate comments against shakes so he had to you know 
hire some security operatives to guide him okay so to me i felt that um on my own personal opinion i felt that with this issue of Sheikh being a narcissist and his ex coming out to say some certain things about him you know shows the kind of person that he really is because in fact he even showed us who he was in the house okay he didn't hide himself and you know hearing that from his ex how they were dating and how he beat her up and all that i think i think that um Sheikh actually is a narcissist okay he's a kind of person and bella on the other hand i'm sure by now she must have seen a lot of things about her ma so-called man and the family members actually want to protect her okay because of course she's a real family and she, she has siblings that are you know that are celebrities okay so i feel that they want to protect her from this narcissist called shakes because i don't see reasons why people would want to like you know people would be countering um other uh, other uh, she's fans rather will be countering people when they tell when they come out here and say that shakes you know is is a controlling uh freak is a narcissist He's um he's violent and all that. They still, you know, try to cover it up, try to paint him, you know, um, uh, uh, paint him in a way in a way that you know most of the allegations against him are false. But we are seeing all these things. Like we are seeing all these things. We are seeing the evidences. We are seeing the fact that he's actually a narcissist. And people still come up here to support him. Like I don't know the essence of that's the essence of hypocrisy. I'm talking about in Nigeria. Like people tend to support violence. At the end of the day, they they tell themselves that ah we are not supporting violence, but they they you know indirectly support violence in, in the, uh, the most annoying ways because the fans of Sheikh, i don't really understand what they really 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 see in Sheikh that they want to like oh he has this he has money he has power he has authority he has this and to me eh, all these things i don't know i don't know can't be out to him i won't say he's lying but i don't believe most of the things that he says okay so for that i feel that bella's um, family members are right in controlling her in controlling her and protecting her from this so this man called Sheikh, because to me relationship to me eh, that relationship is a scam <laughs> it's a scam <laughs> can't be in fact eh, uh, take my word for it it's a scam okay so yeah <laughs> so guys moving on yeah i feel that this season actually gave us a content that we wanted okay yeah this season was back to back back to back content guys like seriously i really really loved what big brother did this year and a lot of things happened a lot of things changed this year and i love the fact that big brother added a lot of you know um you know surprises there and there for us for the audience like where we were spellbound with it was it was a, a suspense filled show big brother like i really really loved this season of big brother and i hope that next year like i don't know i'm hearing rumor that next year they're going to add south africans and nigerians together in one house like <laughs> it's going to be war <laughs> war <laughs> like i don't know how it's going to be like i don't know it's going to be in a whole different level guys like seriously yeah so guys we've come to the end of this video if you like my content please 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 like share and subscribe to my channel and um i'm going to have more juicy content more juicy content coming up very very soon so to my see my next video coming up very very soon take care bye